what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here uh so in this video i'm just going to kind of share my thoughts and something i've been thinking about for quite some time actually for several years now uh i know i'm not the first person to probably share a video like this or the first person to come up with this idea but i just want to put my thoughts out there since i have subscribers and i know you guys want to hear my thoughts on screen and i know for those of you who have subscribed to me for jeepers creepers content i'm sorry that the content for jeepers creepers has been slimmer again i do have a new job at the moment uh so i've been working a lot but for jeepers creepers content i'm still trying to just do character videos so comment down below any characters you want me to make a video on and i will do that but get, getting on into the video as you can see from the title of does or did Sydney Prescott or does she have a secret child that she gave up for adoption after the events of the original Scream? Now, for those of you who are fans of the series, you know that in the original Scream, uh, Sydney Prescott found out that her boyfriend, Billy Loomis, killed her mother as well as his uh, partner, his best friend, Stu. They collaborated to kill Sydney's mother. And the reasoning for that was because Sydney's mother was the reason for Billy's mom leaving the household because Billy's uh, father was having an affair with Sydney's mom. And I can only imagine how heartbreaking that would be to find out that the reason why the love of your life or your first love, the first woman you ever love your mother, the reason she left is because of something regarding your girlfriend's parents. That's that's kind of hard to deal with. And I, I kind of do sympathize in sort of ways with that character of Billy Loomis uh no excusing his actions though but anyway you know that that's what the issue was in the first film now in between the first and the second film there's like a two-year gap what i am believing and what i have always thought for quite some time is that somewhere down the road sydney prescott gave birth to a child because there is a sex scene that occurs between herself and billy loomis in the original screen where she's losing her virginity to him and i'm pretty confident and i do believe sydney prescott was pregnant i do believe her and her father left left woodsboro for some time after the events of the original film and after sydney had the baby i'm willing to bet that that's when they just decided to go back to woodsboro now of course the only two people that know about this would be or three people would be sydney her father and the baby who is now all grown up and now wants revenge that's my that's going to be in the next bit i'm saying that i think that the child of sydney prescott a secret child i believe that, that would be one potential route to take for screen five now that is very similar yes to roman bridger and the secret brother however regardless of regardless of the roman bridger aspect i feel like a secret child wouldn't be too out of the realm because billy and sydney clearly had sex there could have been consequences for that that were not addressed at all in scream two three and four now a lot of people will say well why didn't sydney ever mention this shame out of shame she didn't mention it out of shame i wouldn't i would everybody does things for certain reasons sydney sydney probably didn't mention it out of shame she was ashamed to have been pregnant by that guy and she wanted to go and leave town and her father she told her father her father kept it a secret they both agreed to leave town they settled down for a bit while sydney went through that whole ordeal uh sydney gave birth and the baby was given up for adoption and they left town now how did no one find out well like i said before they left town so to argue that how did no one find out about this is kind of silly because if they left town who knows what they who knows what they did maybe maybe they wanted their own space maybe they maybe sydney had some like some time off from everyone in woodsboro maybe they only saw or had contact with sydney through uh phone contact i'm i'm pretty confident that uh sydney prescott did have a baby she gave it up for adoption and that is probably going to be one of the potential routes that they consider for screen five now another interesting thing i do want to talk about in this theory of mine is that the baby would have a sidekick and that sidekick would be the person who actually discovered the baby and taught it about sydney uh taught the baby about its true roots its true uh mother uh kind of sim still sim very similar to roman again uh i would rather they not take this route but it could be the baby the secret child of sydney and then a partner in crime being another being another loomis relative i'm thinking i'm leaning more towards hank loomis and um 
maybe something to that sort of effect or maybe we find out something else in regards to the loomis the loomis bloodline and that whole ordeal but i'm thinking right now one of the potential routes they could take in screen five is making hayden pantier's character of kirby alive she be the focal point she's in college similar to screen two give it the screen two treatment somewhat use the uh use the college setting again of course i know that's been done before but whatever how the halloween franchise is always taking place in haddonfield so this is still just one little thing uh but yes have have the film revolve around kirby kirby has a ha, has a group of classmates that she's now become connected to or connected with uh in screen five the new killings could be sparked by a reboot of the film stab which is the film series based on the killings in woodsboro in the screen franchise and then have the uh have one of Kirby's friends turn out to be that secret child of Sydney. I could see something like that playing out. And I think that's something that could potentially work. Uh, I think they could do it. I really think they could. I feel like there is a way they could do that. That's something that I would like to see. Now, of course, they could make it more interesting by then bringing in another Loomis, another uh, Loomis relative or something of that effect, or giving this, this secret child some very sad background and making us feel for the character uh there's several things they could do to make this come full circle all the way back to the loomis deb debacle that started with uh sydney's mother and then just have it be i don't know i just don't i don't really want this film to be if it is screen five because we still don't know if it's going to be a sequel or not but i don't want this film to be something that is taking a narrative with these two with these original characters and not tying it back around to the beginning so if it's not going to be sydney as the killer somebody else needs to be connected to sydney some something has to be done here something has to be done that takes us back to the beginning that's what i would like to see for screen five let me know what you guys think about this theory down in the comment section below add on to it if you would like to if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video